how to host downloadable files with GrooveFunnels. Hi, I'm Kerry from Dream Creator B, where I give you honest reviews and tips about making money online. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button to be notified about anything else I make. So today I was asked in comments about how do you host downloadable files with Groove Pages or Groove Funnels. The simple answer is that you don't. You don't host your downloadable files on Groove Pages or Groove Funnels. There is no actual way of doing it. But what you can do is you can host them on Amazon S3, Dropbox and Google Drive. And then you create a button on a thank you page or a link that you send to them in an email that you've either got from their opt-in because obviously if you're trying to give them a downloadable file, it's either because they've opted into your list or they've purchased something where you are giving a bonus. But what I'm going to do today is I'm actually going to talk you through how to do it with Google Drive. And the reason why I'm talking about Google Drive is because you can actually get a free Google Drive account with your Gmail and you can get up to 15 gigabytes. Now, granted, if you're going to be doing a lot of downloads or your customers are going to be doing a lot of downloads, Google is not going to be very happy. So you might have to upgrade to G Suite, which is about $5 a month. Amazon S3 is also very cheap. I pay about £3.99, I think, in my last one this month, and I back up all my websites and any of my downloads. And same with Dropbox. You need to decide which one you want to use, or you can use all three of them, like I do. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you Google Drive. But if you haven't got GrooveFunnels, it is free. There is a freemium model where you can get limited access to all the different products that GrooveFunnels currently offers and is going to offer in the future. So at the moment you get three lots of Groove pages. And by when I say three lots of Groove pages, I mean you can make as many pages as you want within three sites or within three funnels. And then GrooveSell itself is free and within Groove Sale you can sell your own products and you can also create affiliates for these own products of yours. So no credit card is required to sign up. It's just a simple sign up where they give you a free account. So if we go into Groove Funnels, I've already created a page here just as an example where I put a button here and a button there where I'm going to add a link for people to be able to download the file that I am going to create for them. So I've gone into my Google Drive and this isn't one I use a lot, but every time you sign up for a Gmail account, you actually get one of these Google Drives where you can store up to 50 gigabytes here as shown. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what you would do if you were going to deliver different things. So you could create a whole folder, so a new folder, and we could call it a bonus download. So, and if you were doing a particular product where it was a bonus download, you would name it probably that product. And then you click create. And then inside that, by double clicking it, you would probably create your bonus if it was some sort of PDF or ebook. So, testy ebook download. Hope I could spell. And then we could also name it testy ebook download. So, then a bit of text just to fill it up. So that is saved already for us. So we could go down to bonus here and we can see that and we can get a share link. So if we go to share, we need to change this to anybody and copy the link. Done. So we go back into here and we just click on button, go to configure, one in there. But I've done some extra towards that. So I click there, update, and publish. Okay. So let's test it out. So we go like that. And it doesn't actually give it to me as a proper download. It's actually sharing it inside of um, Google Drive. Now, what if, no, what if people haven't got Google Drive? So what you need to do is then you need to create a PDF which you can do in your bonus file here. So you open it up again 
And this time you go file and one file, file and download and download it as a PDF. Yep, you need to download it. So that would be in here, which it is. And what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to upload it back here. So I'm going to go to new file upload and it's that one I want. So I'm going to upload that one and I'm going to try again with a share. But again, when I do this share, I'm just going to show you what it will look like. Go back. In fact, we'll do it on this one because I don't think I've done one on here. Configure. Oh, I have. Update. Okay, so I've added in here the share and the share for the PDF. So I've gone to publish, published it, and if I click button, it gives me this as a PDF, but I'm still going open with Google Docs. Now say I don't want that, say I actually want a direct download. Now there's two ways of doing this. One is you can use a website that will generate you a share link and another is you just change some code yourself. So what it is is this is the front code you're going to change. So this is the code we currently have for the share for the PDF document and all we actually want is this bit here added to that bit there and then instead of putting that code in there we put this in and the difference is this one starts with https colon two forward slashes drive dot google dot com one forward slash uc question mark export equals download and id equal and then we put that code in there that bit there so it's changed from all of that where it's ups sharing so we're going to test it out on our same page. So we're going to go here and I'm actually going to click non, update, I'm going to save, and I'm going to do the exact same with that one, non, update and save. Just so I know it's actually doing it. I'm going to go back in there, click URL, and it's still got that there. Click. And go again to non update. Save. URL. And now it hasn't got that in. So update. It's the same one there. Click on URL and I'll bet that's got the old one. There's sharing. Change that to non, update, save, go back in, URL, update. Now I'm going to publish, save, publish again. Yes! And that is a direct download. It's actually directly downloaded to your computer. So if you can see here, it's actually saved it as test to ebook download one. And that's what you actually want. You don't want them so that they're going into Google Drive. And you can do the exact same thing for your folders. So if we go back to this folder here, so we've got the folder here. We can actually download this folder click on it and download it and it zips up for us and it's zipping file preparing download and it's download and then what I can do is save right there I can do the exact same thing new and this time file upload folder upload actually uploads the whole folder that's on your computer not that one there so click OK and it should and that is there for me and again you would do the same thing here you would share change it copy it 
And again, we would do that. And get that one first. There. And then this time again, I want all of that. And then again here. And again, you've got to remember that Groove Funnels is in beta, so there's a lot of issues. So if we go in here, but they're working on every time I come back, I find new things. So I'm going to delete that and then I'm going to go to none. I'm going to update that. I'm going to do the same with that. Delete it. Non update. And we save. I'm going to go again URL. I'm going to take that off. And I'm going to paste the new one. Update. I'm going to do the same here. URL. Non update. Save. Publish. Publish again. Then, let's see. And it's still doing the old one. Inspect. Empty cache and hard reload. This time it should try downloading the whole folder, which is that. Now, if you can't remember this text here, which is this top bit here, I will put it down in the description, the actual text. But there is also a website you can use, which is this. And this is Google Drive Direct Link Generator. And it has been around since June 1st, 2013. And it was updated as recently as August of this year, which is 2020. And all you would do is, if you wanted that folder, folder, I think it is the folder, it is copy link. You would just simply put that there, create direct link, and I'm not going to go in and change the other ones. So I just put it there, and it should allow me to directly download. And also, I will put the link for that inside the description. So that is how you create a direct downloadable link to be used with Google Drive and Groove Pages or Groove Funnels. In my next video for Groove Funnels, I'll show you how to do it for Dropbox and for Amazon S3. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, go and watch the video again or ask questions in the comments. Over on the right hand side, there are some training and review videos. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to be notified about any new videos on my channel.